Harley Davidson uses denim paint on quite a few models. On this one in particular, the Fat Boy Special, uh, the entire finish is a denim paint. If this bike is dirty to begin with, as this was, we washed it with sun wash, rinsed it, dried it. We can maintain it afterwards with denim paint cleaner. Because it is a liquid, again, we're gonna shake it up. And then from a distance, We're going to go ahead and spray it on. To wipe it off, we're going to use a microfiber cloth that's clean. We do not buff the surfaces. If you buff the surfaces, it's going to disrupt the matte or the denim finish and make it have shiny spots. We don't want that. This product has no ammonia, so it will not cause the denim paint to get a chalky or a white finish to it over time. To keep your power train, Looking like brand new, the wrinkle black should be treated with Harley-Davidson engine brightener. On a perfectly clean engine that is cool to the touch, we're going to go ahead and use it lightly. Key to using engine brightener is to use shorter strokes and not to over spray. A long nozzle makes getting into hard to reach spots, a breeze. Perfect for getting in between the fins of your cylinder heads and your barrels. Lasts a long time and does not smoke upon startup. After you finish spraying on your Harley-Davidson engine brightener, go ahead and wipe off any excess that you may have gotten on anything besides the black wrinkles, such as polished aluminum or chrome, and then dries naturally. Start up, no problem. Drive away and last in between washings. To keep the black sidewalls black, we've got a special formula right here, Harley-Davidson black sidewall treatment. We use this on clean tires. It provides UV treatment and restores the black luster. Two ways to apply it. You can use the edge of your Harley-Davidson detailing sponge or you can use the S100 detailing swabs. It is a liquid, give it a good shake. You can blot this on. The tires have got segmented lines that uh, don't lend themselves easily to going around this way. That's why you're gonna have to go back and forth like this on the smooth areas. On the segmentations, you're going to have to just push it in like this. After it's sat on the tire for approximately 20 minutes, you can go ahead, go back, and make sure that any and all excess has been removed, giving you a deep luster until the next time.